Scott Hall. Born October 20, 1958 in St. Mary's County, Maryland. Was an American professional wrestler. He was best known for his tenures with the World Wrestling Federation, WWF, now WWE, under the ring name Razor Ramon and with World Championship Wrestling, WCW, under his real name Scott Hall. Hall began his career in 1984, before rising to prominence after signing with the WWF in May 1992, assuming the name Razor Ramon. While within the company, he won the WWF Intercontinental Championship four times. He departed the company in May 1996, and subsequently defected to WCW, where he became a founding member of the New World Order, NWO, faction, along with Hulk Hogan and Kevin Nash. In the company, he became a two-time WCW United States Heavyweight Champion, a one-time WCW World Television Champion, and a nine-time WCW World Tag Team Champion. He left WCW in February 2000, and returned to the WWF, later renamed WWE, for a brief stint in 2002. He spent the rest of his career wrestling for various promotions, such as Extreme Championship Wrestling, ECW, New Japan Pro Wrestling, NJPW, and Total Non-Stop Action Wrestling, TNA, where he held the TNA World Tag Team Championship once, with Kevin Nash and Eric Young. On the October 4, 1993 episode of Monday Night Raw, a 20-man battle royal was held. The last two participants would face each other the next week for the vacant WWF Intercontinental Championship. Razor and Rick Martel were those final two. The next week on Raw, Razor pinned Martel after a Razor's Edge to win the Intercontinental Championship. At the 1995 Royal Rumble, Razor lost the Intercontinental Championship to Jarrett, in controversial fashion. Jarrett had originally won the match by count out, but demanded that the match be restarted so he could win the title. It was, and Jarrett pinned Razor with a small package. Razor Ramon defeated Douglas at In Your House 4 to win the Intercontinental Championship, after Michaels had just forfeited the title to Douglas. This win made him the first four-time Intercontinental Champion in WWF history. In early 1996, Razor feuded with newcomer Goldust, leading to an Intercontinental Championship match at the Royal Rumble. Razor lost the title to Goldust after Razor's former partner the 1-2-3 Kid attacked him. Ramon was originally scheduled to face Goldust in a rematch for the title at WrestleMania 12 in a Miami Street fight, but Hall was suspended for six weeks by the WWF due to his drug use he became associated with the backstage group known as The Click, also consisting of Kevin Nash, Diesel, Paul Levesque, Hunter Hearst Helmsley, Shawn Michaels, and Shawn Waltman, the 1, 2, 3 kid. Hall's first appearance on the WCW television show after leaving WWF was an unannounced promo on May 27, 1996, appearing from the crowd in street clothes and claimed to be an outsider. On June 10, he was joined by Kevin Nash. They stated they were undertaking a hostile takeover of WCW, then slammed interviewer Eric Bischoff through the commentator's table. The angle paralleled the real-life competition between WCW and the WWF. At Bash at the Beach, Nash and Hall, now known as the Outsiders, challenged Sting, Lex Luger, and Randy Savage to a six-man tag team match, saying they had a mystery partner. That partner turned out to be Hulk Hogan, and the three formed the New World Order, NWO. The stable stormed WCW, recruiting such stars as Six and the Giant. On March 24, 2014, Razor Ramon was announced as the seventh and final inductee into that year's class of the WWE Hall of Fame. He was inducted in New Orleans on April 5, the night before WrestleMania 30. Shawn Michaels, Triple H, X-Pac and Kevin Nash joined Hall on stage after his speech, reuniting the click. WWE promotional material for the event referred to him solely as Razor Ramon, without footage or mention of his work under his real name. At WrestleMania 30, Hall, as Razor Ramon, appeared on stage with the other Hall of Fame inductees. Hall appeared on the August 11, 2014 episode of Raw for the first time since 2002 to reunite the New World Order with Kevin Nash and Hulk Hogan to celebrate Hogan's birthday. Hall married Dana Lee Bergio in 1990. They divorced in 1998 due to Hall's drug use. They remarried in 1999 and divorced again in 2001. He had a son, 
Cody Taylor, born 1991, and a daughter, Cassidy Lee, born 1995. Hall married his second wife, Jessica Hart, in 2006. The marriage lasted for only a year when they divorced in 2007. In 1983, after wrestling a gun away from a man in an altercation outside of a nightclub in Orlando, Florida, Hall was charged with second-degree murder after shooting the man with his own gun. According to Hall, this was done in self-defense. The charges were dropped due to lack of evidence. In a 2011 interview for ESPN, Hall said he was unable to forget the incident. On October 10, 2008, Hall was arrested during a roast of the Iron Sheik held at a Crown Plaza hotel in New Jersey. A comedian, Jimmy Graham, had joked, after the Sheik and Hacksaw Jim Duggan got caught snorting coke in the parking lot, his career fell faster than Owen Hart. An enraged Hall charged at Graham and knocked down a podium, then grabbed the microphone from him and yelled about how the joke was disrespectful to Owen Hart and his family. Hall's problems with drugs and alcohol were made public in the late 1990s and were incorporated into a controversial WCW storyline. While the storyline was playing out, Hall was legitimately arrested for keying a limousine while intoxicated outside of a nightclub in Orlando, Florida, causing $2,000 in damages. Longtime friend Kevin Nash claimed Hall's substance abuse stemmed from post-traumatic stress disorder. In early 2013, Former professional wrestler Diamond Dallas Page invited Hall into his home in order for Hall to stay sober and rebuild his life from the ground up. Physically, mentally, professionally, and spiritually. Page also initiated a fundraising drive, which raised nearly $110,000, $30,000 over their $80,000 goal, to pay for hip replacement surgery and dental work for Hall. In March 2022, Hall was hospitalized after falling and breaking his hip. After Hall underwent hip replacement surgery, a blood clot was dislodged, resulting in him suffering three heart attacks on March 12, after which he was put on life support in Wellstar Kennestone Hospital in Marietta, Georgia. He was taken off life support on March 14 and WWE announced his death later that day. If you have a fond memory of Scott Hall please share it below. Chico for life.